In this video, we'll look at how to create and email achievement certificates with the Auto Mail Merge plugin for Adobe Acrobat. Use a PDF form template and data from a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to automatically generate and email certificates. This method is much faster than manually filling out and sending multiple certificates to a list of people. To turn the PDF into a fillable form, open the document, click Tools, then find and double click on Form Editor. If prompted, Select and open the relevant file. Then, if necessary, delete auto-generated fields. Click the Add a Text Field icon on the toolbar, then click and drag on the page to shape the text field, or click to place it and resize it later. Now click All Properties, then type a field name into the entry box. Select the Options tab, then choose Center in the Alignment field. Click Close to save this field. Let's repeat this to add an issue date text field. Ensure these fields are appropriately sized to display the autofill text. When editing the text field properties, in the Appearance tab, select Auto Fonts from the drop down list. This will make names and dates fit perfectly within their fields. Click Save File to save changes. The PDF certificate will now be an interactive PDF form. Now we'll look at how to use Excel data for the mail merge. Use an Excel spreadsheet to prepare data for the certificates. The name text field will be populated by three data fields, first name, middle name, and last name. Let's look at how to configure the mail merge parameters. Open the pre-prepared form template in Adobe Acrobat. Then click Plugins in the upper menu and select Mail Merge. Now click Edit Settings. In the window that opens, click the Browse button. Here, you must select the Microsoft Excel Worksheet option, then click OK. Select the pre-prepared spreadsheet file, then click Open. Select the datasheet from the list, then click OK. Now we'll look at how to map the form to data fields in the Excel spreadsheet. Detected form fields are now listed here. Click Guess Mapping. The software will identify data field and form field similarities. Click Yes on the confirmation dialog box. Then click OK to close the box informing you how many field mappings have been guessed. Here, the association between the issue date fields in the spreadsheet and certificate PDF has been recognized. Our next goal is to combine text from all three name fields in the spreadsheet into the single name field in the certificate PDF. To do this, select the name form field, then click the Add Mapping button. Check the Use a Multiple Field Expression to create a composite field option. Now, type first name, middle name, and last name as shown here into the Enter Expression text box, then press OK. Click Next. Then if necessary, check the Flatten Output PDF Documents option to make output documents non-editable. Then click Next. Now let's look at some output options. Click Browse to specify an output folder for the certificates. Check the Save Each Copy of the Filled Form as a separate PDF document option. Then specify desired file names with the file naming controls. Here, we are appending the value of last name to the original file name for each document. Now click Next to skip through remaining screens. Now let's look at how to specify the email options. On this screen, check the Send Emails to the Recipients using Addresses from the Data Source option. Optionally, click Advanced to specify options for SMTP email servers. Select an email format using the drop down list. Optionally, check the user interaction is required for sending emails option. This displays a confirmation dialog before sending each email message. Now specify a data source field. This references the location of the email addresses in the spreadsheet. Now enter the email subject and message into the relevant entry boxes. Use a field name written in this format to insert text from the data source into the email to personalize each message. Once this is done, click Next. Now select the preferred emailing method. The plugin provides two options. 
use the SMTP server to securely send emails without any user interaction, or use the default email client, for example Outlook, which may always prompt confirmation for each email due to security restrictions. Now click Next to proceed. Click Finish on the last advanced screen. Check the settings summary. Save these settings for later use with the Save Settings button. Use Load Settings to load them back later. Now click OK. Then press the Run Mail Merge button to begin the process. If using Outlook, you may be prompted before emailing each document. Note that this screen will not appear if a different emailing method is used. If the User Interaction Required option was previously enabled, this screen is shown for each message. Use it to preview the email message and attached PDF document. Check this box to avoid repeating this screen for each email. Then click Send Email. If using Outlook, this screen will be shown, where you'll need to press Send. If user verification is not desired, use an SMTP emailing method. This dialog box will then confirm the operation's success and report the number of certificates created. View the designated output folder to examine the certificates produced by opening them in Acrobat. Visit evermap.com for further product resources.